three, two, one. We are rolling. Welcome to the three month update on the solar system. And so today marks the, actually uh, the system has been running for three, three months and two days. And there you go. So the kid made 6,2 kilowatt hours today. And the pip made 6.7 kilowatt hours today. It's a beautiful thing. It works. It works. It does work. Very nice. Let me just quickly show you here. This is a, as you can see, this is um, PV estimation, estimation of a three kilowatt hour system at a 30 degrees slope and the position more or less where I am I am here that's where I live some 15 15 kilometers outside of Malaga city and these are the numbers I get supposedly the average production in the month of November is there 11,7 kilowatt hours so I'm pretty happy today I made 12,9 kilowatt hours and as the month progresses I take I'll get closer to that 11,7 kilowatt hours and even go lower as this is probably is the average for the month but 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 this is the great news. I did order myself a second pip. It should be here by November 25th. So in two weeks it should be here. I also ordered a two of those parallel boards kits. So I'll be paralleling the this pip here with the new one that's arriving and I'm also ordering and installing another three kilowatt hours of panels as you can see here I have been using a whole lot more a whole lot more line energy because I, I have been running the system in a timer and so this works very well. It switches over to utility at 10 minutes past midnight and it runs an utility all the way up to 8.30 in the morning. And, and I'm not doing this to save batteries, but I'm actually doing this because I, um, I run the water heater uh, between three and five in the morning for two, two hours, depending on the day, three hours, because I'm not getting enough solar power during the day to heat the water. But at least I have, I still run the pool pump for the whole six hours. And now it's getting very cool, very closer to cold weather so probably as soon as I get the next pip I'll be winterizing the pool and so I'll have a lot more surplus energy surplus there 
So here's my usage. The last few days I have been using a whole lot of power as you now. But uh, with my new three kilowatt hour system, I should be producing, I hope to produce those close to 600 kilowatt hours monthly. So as you can see, I'll, I'll definitely be off grid from April, May, June, July. In July and August, I'll definitely be producing over 900 kilowatt hours. So I'll have a very nice surplus here. Can even, I don't know if, if I'll connect the air conditioning system to the pips, but otherwise I'll connect the whole house to the pips. So I'll have good, good, I'll make them work good, at least when I have sun power. And during the nights, given I'm, I'm still connected to the grid and I have off-peak rates in the night, I'll be saving the batteries. And probably that's the only time that I'll run the air conditioning. Anyways, folks, this is a quick update. The system has run great for the last three months. And I hope it will be running just as good for the next <laughs> 30 years. Hopefully I'll get to use just in cases and uh, Jeremy's software soon. If they if they publish it or they sell it, I'm willing to buy it. I'm also following this other person that's that's uh, building a software for the PIP in South Africa. He's very advanced, and his system he uses two PIPs and a Victronic battery monitor so maybe i'll go that route as well when i have the second pip mounted up on the wall here anyways have a great solar week everyone goodbye thank you for watching